Long story short, I found someone selling a violin and I'm going to get it. Well, it took me longer to get there than expected because Google Maps was not reliable and brought me to the wrong place, but I have acquired the violin. It is, it's a half size, so it'll work for my Halloween costume, great. Um, but I might be putting a full size violin on my Christmas list this year um, because it has been an instrument that for like years, it's kind of run through my head of like, oh, you know, the instrument, oh, you know, the instrument, you know, the violin, but I was always like, oh, but you know, what if I, you know, get one, but then I drop it, kind of like how I did guitar, which I will say, I do still know how to play guitar. Like I could pick up a guitar and if someone was like, here are some chords, I'd be like, okay, I can, I can play guitar, not advanced, but I can play guitar and I can play ukulele. Piano lessons I took in fifth grade and that I'm not very good, <laughs> not very good at. But, you know, I was always like, you know, I don't want to spend the money and then drop it. But like it had like I think I remember seeing Lindsay Sterling perform one time when I think it was the Jingle Ball or something like that years ago. I was probably like 13 maybe when we saw her perform and her performance sticks out of my head so much because I loved her and her violin so much. And then it, it has like especially this past year, but like Umbrella Academy came out and then it was on my mind even more. But yeah, it has been an instrument. It's not just like I randomly was like, let's pick up this instrument. Like I have been thinking about it for years. It's just, I never done anything about it. I got back from picking up the violin, had enough time to read through my teacher's script, who we're having a writer's group tomorrow to get together to talk about it. And then uh, eat a really quick bowl of cereal because I didn't technically have lunch. Now I'm going to meet Abby to go see a movie. Clear. I would not be going to go see a movie normally. However, uh, Vancouver International Film Festival is happening this week, and Abby invited me to go see one of their limited in-person screenings of a film that's showing there. It's an indie film. It's actually a French film, so it's got English subtitles, but the story sounded really cool, so um, she invited me, and uh, yeah, we're going to see it. So that's the reason why we're going. Uh, it's limited capacity. Um, social distancing within the theater, everyone has to wear a mask. So that's why we both felt comfortable going because Abby too is very cautious about where she goes. So I'm excited to see her. So the movie Summer at 85 was so good. I absolutely loved it. Kind of reminded me of Call Me By Your Name, but with death in there. <laughs> so my hair's a little crazy, sorry. I am heading to bed. It's 10.42, later than I wanted to be going to bed, but earlier than the past few nights. Um, I read a little bit more in my book. It's pretty good. Um, I think I'm on page like 55 or something out of 300 and something, so really got to get on it. <laughs> but uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. All my social media is in the description. Love you all.